to Invest in Banking Insights. This is the only show absolutely dedicated to helping you learn both the technical and non-technical aspects of the investment banking process. My name is Alex Mason and I'm your host. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we're going over an accounting question today, which is what happens when a business buys $10 worth of inventory for cash? And you want to understand how to walk through the financial statements under this type of scenario. So let's go ahead and go to the whiteboard and let's get it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is lay out our three financial statements. Like usual, income statement, our cash flow statement, and then our balance sheet. So if a company is buying inventory, remember that inventory is a type of asset and they're paying for this using cash. So inventory is ultimately going to be converted into some kind of a product that is sold. So because of that, it's going to impact the income statement. So remember at the top of the income statement, we have our revenue and then we have our cost of goods sold and then we have our operating expenses. And so what's going to happen is Either our cost of goods sold or operating expenses are going to be impacted by this $10 being paid for the inventory. Um, most likely this cost of goods sold here because that's actually going to get turned into something that is then sold, just depending on the time period. So that's what's going to happen. And then that's ultimately going to flow down to operating profit. So moving over to the cash flow statement. $10 is leaving the company because you're using $10 in cash to buy the inventory. So in your cash flow from operations section, you are going down by $10. Okay, so that's the net change in cash here too. So if we go over to the balance sheet, what do we have? Well, on our asset side, we just gave up $10 in cash to buy some inventory. So our cash is down by $10. But we got something in exchange for that cash. We actually got some inventory. And remember, inventory is an asset. So we add that to the asset side of the balance sheet as well. So our inventory goes up by $10, right? On the liability side of the balance sheet, nothing is changing. And then on the equity side, nothing's changing either. So this is a pretty simple example where balance sheet balances really just on this asset side of the balance sheet right here. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Nothing's changing here. Nothing's changing here. And we already counted for the balances here on this side of the equation. So balance sheet balances. And that's how you walk through a purchase of $10 in inventory in cash. All right, what I got for you today here on Investment Banking Insights. My name is Alex Mason, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.